Hey guys, this is Fallon and I am coming to you because I was led to talk about this subject. Um, it's all over social media, uh, it's all over YouTube. I did not mean to run into this, but I was um, just browsing around and I came upon some videos about R. Kelly and the whole situation that's going on with the women and uh, let me tell y'all I saw this picture I came across this picture of him and in the picture it, it looks like he was he was crying um, if there was some other people in the picture I believe his siblings I didn't really like research too much into it um, yeah it was his siblings I believe that was in the photo but guys as I looked at this man, I saw nothing but hurt. I saw nothing but pain and sorrow. And in my spirit, I felt like he was crying out, but he felt like he had nowhere to run. He had nowhere to go. I don't think anyone in their right mind condones anything that R. Kelly has done that has been of darkness or perversion you know iniquity sin all of that we know sin is sin we know wrong is wrong we know that I was led to read some scriptures from the Word of God because at this moment in time there is a lot that has been put out against R. Kelly a lot of word curses and things like that and being believers we know better we know better we know that when people are going through things like this we know it's not them but we know it's the, it's darkness we know that they, they have strongholds on their lives we know that they're allowing the devil to pretty much control them they 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 have been given up to their own mind and thoughts and way of thinking. They're no longer thinking how God created our mind to think. They've been given over to a, a mind of fantasy. But we know as Christians that when we see our brothers and sisters and things like that, people that we know, it doesn't matter who it is, whether he's a celebrity or not, he's still a soul. No matter... If it's our family member, if we know that our family is going through things, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to go and pray for these people. We're not supposed to make videos putting our mouths on people and, you know, word cursing people and things like that. Yes, things have happened, but things have happened in all of our lives. No, we're not R. Kelly to be in the forefront for everybody in the world to see, but we have went through things and done things in our own lives that we had to go to God and ask him to forgive us because guess what? Sin is sin. Sin is sin, and I don't care what your name is, and I don't care how much fame you have. We all are souls. We all need God. We all need deliverance. Most of all, we need prayer, and that's one thing that R. Kelly needs right now. He needs prayer because guess what, guys? It's not going to make the situation change. It's not by, by dragging him all over the media, all on Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah. You know, that's not going to change nothing. What has happened in this man's life has happened. I'm not taking away from anybody. Any, everybody involved in this situation, every single body involved in this situation also need to go to God in repentance, just as well as R. Kelly, because nobody's greater than the other. So I just wanted to get on here to read some scriptures, you know, just to put it out there over this situation with R. Kelly and to encourage the people who do believe in the Lord to pray for him because that's what he needs. That's exactly what that man needs. I have went into the word of God to pull up some things to back up the situation that's going on with R. Kelly right now. And uh, part of what I'm gonna read talks about uh, sinners in the Bible. Part of it talks about forgiveness in the Bible. And so this is, this is our guide. This is what we should be operating from. Not out of our emotions, not out of our flesh, 
Um, because truth be told, that man, God, if, if God was here right now staring at each and every one of us and we're sitting here talking about what R. Kelly has done in his life, who he has done it to, God will look at us like, are you really serious? Let's talk about you. Let's talk about the things that you have done and who you have done it to. We're not no different. We're not no different. Just because, you know, uh, we, we, we did some things and no one saw us, God saw us. He sees all and he knows all. You may feel like you have gotten away with certain things because, hey, it wasn't put in the forefront. But guess what? God saw you. Now, I'm not going to get into what R. Kelly's doing wrong, what he has done wrong. I'm not getting into any of that. And in Mark chapter 2, verse 17, it says, And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. 1 John 1 and 9 says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness romans 3 and 23 says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god as god has come to give each and every one of us including r kelly eternal life romans 5 and 8 says but god shows his love for us and that while we were still sinners Christ died for us so why we were still sinners Christ died for us even R. Kelly even R. Kelly Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 says surely there is not a righteous man on earth who does good and never sins so we all sin we all sin we're not no better than R. Kelly we are not no better and especially if we're out here putting word curses on this man as if we're God himself. We're speaking, we're saying this and we're saying that. That man is hurting. He is hurting. And, and, and we can all talk about the things that he's doing and have done and all this and that and the other. But guys, what is he supposed to do? Eliminate himself off the face of the earth? people that's in the body of Christ we got to pull together for situations like this because God requires it from us he requires it from us there's a lot of people that go around doing evil in this world but we know who's behind all of this we know where it comes from and we have the power to to stand against it to pray against it to speak against it but instead of that we're sitting here work cursing people to hell we're condemning people to hell and we're we have no power to do that at all we could talk about all the wrongs that somebody's doing but we we have to take the beam out of our own eyes while we putting a spotlight on one person we got a lot of, of junk in our trunk and i'm not taking up for anybody but the word of god this is what i'm reading is coming straight from the word second peter chapter 3 verse 9 the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise but is patient towards you not wishing that any should perish but that all should reach repentance that's not just for me or you that's for everybody including R. Kelly there's also the parable of the lost sheep R. Kelly is lost right now he is a lost sheep now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him meaning Jesus and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled saying this man receives sinners and eat with them really Jesus a holy man really he, he, he eats with the sinners he receives sinners oh that's so hard to believe but yes he yes yes he did and yes he does even R. Kelly Mark 11 and 25 says, And whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, 
so that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you your transgressions or your tra- your trespasses. Matthew 6 and 15. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Which means we all have them because we all have to go to God on the daily basis to ask him to forgive us. Just as R. Kelly has to go and ask God to forgive him because the only person that's going to clean him up and set him free is Jesus, not what's going on in the media. What's going on in the media is putting things out there as if we all are this righteous people that does no wrong and walk a perfect and spotless life, which is far from the truth. And we all should be ashamed of ourselves. And we all need to go to God and ask him to forgive us for judging and beating and condemning and sending somebody to hell when we don't even have that kind of power. The parable of the unforgiving servant. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. Yes. Yes. Colossians 3 and 13 says, Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. You don't have to agree with the word of God, but it is the word of God. And it stands over any other word that anybody in this world can ever say or speak. James 5 and 16. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Our Kelly needs healing. So the prayer of a righteous person has great power. And those of us who are strong in the Lord that is what we should be doing for R. Kelly we need to be praying for him because he's hurting he need help he's in a dark pit he's in a dark hole we have family members like that truth be told some of our children are like that we have children that has done sexual things against their own siblings I'm not saying that that's my situation currently but I'm saying that it's situations out there like that although it hurt us we love our family we love we love the people you know around us and it hurt us that they're going through things that they go through or they're doing the things that they do R. Kelly is not the only guilty person on this earth we have people close to us doing things that is just not common out of order sinful perverted all that above that's full of darkness we know people But guess what we have to do? We still have to walk in love. We still have to pray for them because they need it. They don't have no strength. All the money in the world, whatever R. Kelly obtained during his career, it it does not bring him any happiness. He's empty. And what he's doing is allowing the devil to fill him up with empty hopes, empty dreams, empty promises. And guess what? He need a savior. And that person is Jesus Christ. And the people who are in Jesus, who are in Christ, we need to stand up and we need to start praying for these people. We need to start praying for these celebrities. We need to start praying for these rappers. All these people that has pretty much taken taken the, the, the path of darkness, we need to pray for them. Because we, I mean, we, we, we don't see these people. We don't talk to these people. We don't see them face to face. But prayer is powerful and it goes wherever they may be. And we need to take a stand and start to pray for these people. And not wear curse these people and condemn these people to hell. Lord, have mercy on our souls. Forgive each and every one of us for our sins because we're not innocent. We all have fell short of your glory, God. Whether it's in the media or behind closed doors, it don't make a difference. Sin is sin. God sees it the same. Just because you're you don't make you no better than R. Kelly. 
because his sins has been publicized and and his and his downfalls and wrongdoings have been put out into the into the atmosphere yours is behind closed doors so you're not no better than he is we all need to repent the Bible says to love your enemies, Luke 6 and 27. The Lord says, but I say to you who hear, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. It's raw. That's just what his word says. Luke 17, 3 through 4. Pay attention to yourself. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. All of this stuff that's going on with R. Kelly, there is a spiritual battle. Because guess what? He could go to therapy. He could go see a psychiatrist. He can go buy him some more chains, bracelets, cars, houses, whatever. Nothing materialistic is going to help him. Prayer needs to be sent his way. Those who believe, those in the faith, we need to do what God is requiring of us. In Jesus' name, amen.